Life Church Wilmsor is a group of friends from across Cheshire East who are on a journey of faith and friendship. Together, we're learning to love God, love people, and really love life. Our expression of that is through two channels right now live streams just like this, and live groups. Our live streams go live every Sunday. We meet together online at 10 15 for 30 minutes of inspiration and connection on Facebook Live, on YouTube and on our website at lifechurchwilmslow.org. And every other week we have a coffee together on Zoom to catch up, to connect, and to find out how everyone is doing. Then, in the week, we have life groups. There are three to choose from, each one distinctive, but each one welcoming, friendly, and open for you to be yourself and to connect with friends. Again, all the information and email addresses to get in touch are on our website. We'd love to hear from you, but right now, get ready, lean in, engage, and enjoy today's live stream. Good morning and welcome to live stream. Please let us know where you're watching from this morning or if you're there, just send us a thumbs up or a like on YouTube. Why not subscribe or comment on today's broadcast? Well, wherever you're watching from, we hope you're having a, just a great weekend. But if you're not, if you're facing some real challenges and are facing some things that are just stressing you out, stay right where you are because this live stream is just for you today. So, this is the ballroom screen in the Rex Cinema in Wimslow's town centre. This is a beautiful art deco cinema in a fantastic building that has been lovingly restored to its original state. From the very moment you walk through the front doors that overlook the town centre, you get a, well, you just get a sense of going back in time from the chandeliers and glitzy surrounds to the spacious seating with small tables for your drinks. You know, walking around, you get the, well, you get the feeling of a bygone era when cinemas were only entertainment, they were the only entertainment um, venue really in town across England. Like the Rex's uh, own website explains, we are a family of film enthusiasts who have rejuvenated four cinemas in the small towns with the hope of restoring them to the heart of the community. And I love that. I love the idea of bringing energy and life back to the heart of our communities because that's our vision also as Life Church, restoring the heart of our community right here in Wimslow and Cheshire East. So. Here's the great news. On the 1st of August, we're inviting you to the movies right here, right here in the ballroom screen of the Rex Cinema in Wimslow. Circle the date in your diary because on August the 1st, we're going to join together with friends from around the world, like we've been doing for 18 months now, but now we're able to join together in person and watch the live stream together for the very first time. Now here's some more great news. The doors will be open at 9.30 a.m. and we'd love you to come and meet the family of friends you've not seen in a while. Get a coffee and some snacks before we all walk into this ballroom screen at around 10 o'clock. The whole event will only be one hour long, but you'll have plenty of time before and after to catch up over a drink and connect with people you've not seen in a long time. If you want to know more information, please email us at info at lifechurchwimslow.org or check us out on our website at www.lifechurchwimslow.org. But please, please put August the 1st in your diary today 
and why not plan right now to invite somebody along with you on that day so back to today's live stream in a moment we have Matt Williamson talking to us about resilience it's a talk you really need to hear today if you're struggling in any area of your life, in a relationship, in your job, or even in your mental health. Matt gives us three critical keys to help us find perseverance in life in even the most stressful of times. But first, let's listen to some music as we prepare ourselves to hear God's word today from people and songs. An uplifting song that declares on Christ the solid rock I stand all other ground is sinking sound. This song is called Cornerstone. You're going to enjoy it from their living room to your living room. Enjoy this. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame. But holy trust in Jesus' name. Let's sing that again. My hope is built on nothing less. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame.
weak and made strong in the sails of through the storm he is Lord Lord of all Good morning everyone there's a word that I keep hearing a lot at the moment, and it's probably a word that, that describes something that's become more relevant and more important to many of us over the past year. And that's the word resilience. Resilience is the thing that allows us to persevere through sustained stress and struggle. It enables us to keep walking despite hardship. And it describes that amazing ability to stay hopeful in difficult times and to stay faithful when our faith is tested. But resilience is not just some internal feeling or, or a switch that we can turn on. We don't just become more resilient by deciding I'm going to be more resilient today. Resilience is the sum total of the resources that we carry within ourselves and also the external structures of support that are built around us. It's a deeper and broader thing than just a mindset or an attitude. And actually, there is loads in the Bible that shows us what true resilience really is. And the Bible often describes it through the word perseverance. And it talks about how it's God who enables us to stand strong and to persevere in hardship through our intimacy with him and our relationship with one another. The Bible, um, it doesn't shy away from talking about life's hardships and struggles. It's a deeply, deeply honest and real book. But it always does that by keeping the context of the underpinning and the everlasting hope that's found in Jesus. So today I want to talk about three keys for developing resilience in line with what the Bible tells us. And I want to look at Romans, the book of Romans in the New Testament. I want to look at chapter five, starting from verse one, which says this. Therefore, since we've been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we've gained access by faith into this grace in which we now stand. And we boast in the hope of the glory of God. Not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings because we know that suffering produces perseverance. Perseverance, character, and character, hope. And hope does not put us to shame because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. In my work with Wilmslow Youth, part of what we do is supporting young people who are experiencing incredibly challenging situations in life. And we often have conversations about what we can be doing to help those young people to persevere when things are tough. And often, one of the most important parts of that work is to ensure that every single person in that teenager's life plays their part to support and uphold and to encourage them. So for some people, it might be that they're there to offer therapeutic support, but equally, it might be someone getting a good meal in front of that person every single day or someone helping them to engage in social activities, or someone to be a friend who just has fun with them, someone who can support them in schoolwork, or someone who picks up medicine if it's needed, someone who just calls them regularly to check in and to chat and to speak to them. Everybody has their part to play, and the first lesson in resilience is exactly that. Everyone has a part to play. In so many of the New Testament letters that are written by Paul the Apostle, just like Romans, he speaks in the first person plural. So it's, it's we and us and are. It's not me and you. It's not the church and the congregation. It's all of us, all together. In Jesus' church, there's no dividing line between those who have it sorted and those who don't. You know, those who are standing behind a microphone and those who are hiding behind a chair. Like each person is critically important. 
everything that you do has significance and everyone has a part to play and everyone's part is important. If we want to be resilient as a church and resilient as individuals, we need to recognize that we're all in it together. Strength comes from community with God at the center of it. And it comes from each part of that community pulling together. One of my favorite moments in the Old Testament of the Bible is when uh, Moses is leading the Israelites into a battle. And as he watches over the battle, he, he takes his staff and he holds it up high above his head. And whilst he holds that staff high, the battle turns in favor of the Israelites. But as his arms grow tired, they start to droop down. And as that happens, the enemy starts to win. So eventually what happens is two of Moses' friends, uh, Aaron and Hur, they come and they stand with him, one on either side, and they grab hold of his arms and they lift his arms into the air so that he's able to hold the staff up until the soldiers are able to defeat the enemy in battle. So all of them playing their part enabled the victory. There's no role that is too small, no part is insignificant. And what you have to bring matters and it's needed, especially when times are tough. We persevere by persevering together. And in doing so, we build resilience with one another. The second key to building resilience is to acknowledge that at times it's gonna to be tough. In verse three, Paul encourages us to glory in our sufferings, for suffering produces perseverance, perseverance character, and character hope. Sometimes when I am talking to a young person, um, everything in me wants to tell them that it's gonna be okay, uh, and that every struggle and every hardship is just gonna disappear. But I've learned that, that hope isn't always found in just waiting for a struggle to come to an end. But instead, hope comes from finding peace in the midst of a, of a struggle. Because sometimes, no matter how much I want to, sometimes I can't say that everything is gonna get better right now. Because sometimes that's just not true. That's not how the world works. But sometimes in the end, what I really need to say is, this is hard and this is gonna keep being hard for now. But you're gonna make it and I'm gonna stay with you in the middle of it. And I think a key step to building resilience is to recognize and acknowledge that life at times will be challenging and exhausting, but we have someone who will never leave us in the middle of it. Sometimes the right prayer to pray is not just that God would calm the storms around you, whatever they may be, but instead that he would meet you in the middle of that situation and that he would calm the storm that is within you. And this passage tells us that as we persevere, we build character and that that produces hope. I think part of maturing in character means knowing yourself and, and knowing when you need help. I know for me that when life is tough, I'm always in danger of isolating myself and trying to deal with it alone, telling myself that I need to sort everything else out by myself. But I need to remember that being strong in character, for me, it doesn't mean me pushing on despite everything and doing it alone. It means knowing when I need help. Uh, Jesus knew when to be alone to pray, and he also knew when he needed his closest friends to pray for him and with him and to be around him and alongside him. You know, as we acknowledge that life is gonna to be tough, that means that we can be prepared and we can build safety nets that accommodate for the help that we know we need. And that might look like different things for different people. So it could be, uh, it could be having friends who know to call you if they've not heard from you for a while. It could be somebody, uh, speaking into your life and, and going and finding that person who speaks peace and joy when you're having a hard day and who brings that joy of God into your life when you're having a hard day. It could be recognizing signs of stress and anxiety in yourself and actually learning the warning signs of that so that you know to stop 
and bring those feelings before God. Take yourself as you are to him and ask him to meet you in that moment. For other people, it could also be setting yourself up with some professional help to deal with whatever you're dealing with right now. But whatever it is, when we acknowledge that sometimes it's going to get tough, then we actually ready ourselves to face it head on. So everyone has a part to play. We need to acknowledge that it's going to get tough sometimes. And the third key to building resilience is to just know that you are loved and loved completely. Because the final part of this passage, it says, uh, and hope does not put us to shame because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who's been given to us. When life is stressful and challenging, we might be tempted sometimes to see ourselves as fragile and weak and broken and flawed. But in this passage, Paul is telling us that that, that story is that's not God's narrative for us. Instead, because of what Jesus has done through his sacrifice on the cross and his defeat of death, we can be assured that we can be justified through faith. We can know that we have peace with God through Jesus. We can know that we have gained access to his grace in which we can stand and we can live in hope and rest in the fact that God's love has been poured into our hearts through God's Holy Spirit who's been given to us. We can know that the God-given identity is our new identity. I can know that I have infinite worth, not because of what I've done, but because of what God has done. When we know how loved we are, we persevere in that love. Resilience comes from the intimate love that God pours into us and the family of faith that he puts around us. So everyone has a part to play. Acknowledge it's going to be hard and it's going to be tough, but just know that you are loved. Because as Paul writes, even in times of suffering, we can be assured that suffering produces perseverance, perseverance character and character hope. And hope does not put us to shame because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who's been given to us.
Well, thank you for that, Matt. Such a great word, building resilience into your life. Listen, if you're struggling with that right now, if you've got a stressful life, you need to stay around just for a few more minutes because you can dig a bit deeper at the end of this live stream when we have some food for thought questions. So stay right where you are. These questions will really help you. If you're saying, well, you know what? My life is okay, it's all okay. I've still got two things to ask you to do. First thing is, would you share this with somebody who's going through a stressful time right now? It might make all the difference in their life today. Or maybe for the future, just hit save. If you're watching this on Facebook Live, save this and come back to it later. I promise you, this is a talk that might just help you out in the future also. What a great message today. But for now, from here at the Rex Cinema in the centre of Wimslow. Remember, put the date in your diary, please, the 1st of August, and also do something else as well. Get ready to invite somebody along. We're gonna have a great time. Sunday, the 1st of August, the doors are gonna be open at 9.30 a.m. I can't wait to see you right here. For now, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Have a great week, and we'll see you, same time, same place, right here next week on Livestream.